So, good evening, and I have to say, it's so important that you're all here tonight. The situation, uh, as you follow the news with education in particular, it's getting so serious. So, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get involved in this race. What I bring to this is 30 years direct experience with education. I've worked in a variety of classrooms, including Castlemont High School for five years, and I also have worked on an administrative level with a college access program that helps under-resourced youth get into college. And in that process, I've been involved with fairly large budgets, with policies, and with partnerships. So I know that I'm very qualified for this position, and we need people like me, and I, I actually am kind of a humble person, but I want to be emphatic about this, because I actually have been in a variety of situations that tie so well with this particular position. So the Alameda County role is to serve the schools. Now, the schools, it looks very dire. Budgets are going to be cut, and the county budget is going to continue its cut as well. So we have to be really strategic, very, very careful on exactly what of these educational services and programs that we're truly going to support. So we need to think, what are the results that all of these programs have generated? And then we need to identify those that have the greatest impact. So I've heard that the math professional development on the middle school and high school level, it's probably the elementary as well, but it's absolutely stellar. The teachers love it. It's gotten the positive results, but unfortunately, the schools don't have enough money, okay, because you need to pay study loans and so forth. It's not, it's not all the Alameda County services are completely free. There is some kind of cost associated there. But I think um, I know from experience, I know from the actual professional development that I've taken at Alameda County, I know how it translates into the classroom. These are the kinds of experiences that I could make that are going to have that kind of impact because it is really hard right now. This is not a job that someone does for fun. It's something you do because you are 1,000% committed to serving our children. By the way, I have two children at Bancroft Middle School. I care about them. I also work at College Track, where we have uh, many, we have about 200 students in our Oakland headquarters. I care about them, but I care about all of our children. Uh, so let me just give a few more examples. You probably have noticed that there's a disenfranchisement of ninth and 10th graders, especially boys. The dropout rate is very high around the 10th grade level. There are programs that the county has historically had, or some that are similar to that, that are ideal for these youth, such as robotics, STEM programs, hands-on kinds of programs that these boys really gravitate to, and I saw it at Castlemore. Um, the other thing, as you've noticed, the college landscape is really getting tough. So even middle class and affluent parents are having a really tough time guiding their their kids to get prepared and accepted into college. Now with the counselors, it looks like they might be cut. I think we could look at, or we need to look at some kind of partnership with uh, companies and organizations that have mentorships that could be trained by the county, that they could provide expertise to help our young people when they go through that college selection process. So, I just, I really want to emphasize that, and then there's other areas that are so important too. For example, the alternative schools that the county supports. Now think about it. School safety is really important, but if these young people are going through juvenile hall, and about 1,500 are going through juvenile hall, but 3,000 maybe uh, total, but they repeat visits, and if there's no place for them when they go back to school, where they don't fit in. I'm sorry, I'm just going to pause to make sure she's okay. She'll be fine. Oh. She's tough. Okay. okay. I, I knew I was boring, but I thought I wasn't painfully boring. <laughs> um, so that's a, another area that 
again, there's not much resources, but to be as strategic as we can so those young people are getting the support that they need in the school. Another key area is the, uh, the board serves as the uh, appeals board for expulsions. I think we're all aware of the disproportionate number of African American and Latino children who are expelled. I've read through the policy that the board wrote, I've examined it, and when you look at the policy, it looks fantastic. But I actually lived through that policy at Castlemont, and I can tell you, as well-intentioned and as well-thought-out as it is, it doesn't work. So those are the kinds of things that doesn't cost money, but it takes analysis to really finesse and get to the heart of everything that we could possibly do with limited means to get the, um, the support to our students. So, oh, I have to say I was endorsed by the Greenpeace Party and the Oakland Tribune, and they both said that emphatically I was the most qualified. So, uh, I just want to say thank you for your involvement. That is absolutely the most important thing, that we all stand up for what we believe is right. Thank you.